goodness, this is bad. Yeah. This is way worse than the last time we were yeah. out here. I don't even think I could get my truck back through here. I'd be scared to find out there's something in the way. Yeah. Wasn't this the trail? <laughs> yeah, we that Dotson came out through this way. Wow. Crazy how fast this stuff will grow up. Some of that grass beside you is nine foot tall. Yeah. If we do try to get the truck back here, just know there's a lot of junk right there. It's not so bad back here. Over this way, ain't it? Yes, sir. Yep. At least we got plenty of shade. There she is. Oh, yeah. Looks a little better shape than what I remember. <laughs> Looks more grown up than I remember. Yeah. Wow. There were some big old trees. Yeah. I know this tree over here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I spoke too soon. Oh, yeah. That tree there just has this side crushed in. That crazy, you would think it would just hit the truck and grow the other way. Yeah. It's like Unless it, it got a certain size right beside it and just then started. It made expanding. its mind up yep. that it was going straight up and it was gonna push this thing out of the way, huh? Yep. Tires holding there. Wow. So I don't know if that tree's gonna have to come down or this one. Or both. <laughs> Right, both. This side ain't too bad. Got a lot of color still left on the sheet metal. Huh. Look at this old wood they got back here on the bed, on the frame. <laughs> Just had them like a wooden flat black, flat bed, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, this thing, all these trees grew up after it was parked here because there's no way it could have. Right. Now this thing's been them. out here a long time. 50, 60 years. Yeah. I don't think that one's grown up in it there. No. That one may. Crazy though, most of the tires look like they're holding there. Yeah, that one may be savable and not have to do anything with, so. I'll try to check it out from the other side. Definitely plenty of poison ivy or poison oak out here. Oh yeah. That just looks like a snake <laughs> spot to live too. Wow, yeah, it's not just the door, it's smashed in the rocker and everything. Yeah. Man. That's a big old tree. Yeah, that's been here. I hope. <clears throat> I don't think it's gonna be connected though. You know, I think it's just pushed it in. There's nothing that it's really grown into, it don't look like. You know it's bad though when there's rat turds coming out of the door jam crack. <laughs> yeah, I've got trees I planted in our front yard that are about 20 something years old that ain't half that size. Yeah. Man. Well. You want to check under the hood? I, I guess maybe. Inside. Keys are in it. It's not really. No, this nasty. door ain't, ain't <laughs> going to open. I think we picked the hardest thing out here to possibly try <laughs> to bring back to the shop, though. Nope. I probably got it locked. Maybe. Scared to reach in there. Well, there's a ton of rat turds. And the window don't roll down. Like I said it looks to be complete in there with the extras. <laughs> see if see what it looks like up underneath the hood. I was gonna grab the handle, but there's not one.
Hooey. Yeah, there's definitely some rats around here. No radiator. All right. What's the dipstick look like? What's the wool look like? Huh? It does have oil in it, don't it? It does have oil and it's on the full mark. It smells just like old oil, so it's nothing. It's too, too old to try that. It's got plugs in on this side. At least they haven't been yeah. taken out or anything. Uh, we may have bit off more than we can chew. <laughs> well, when has that not happened? <laughs> So guys, this is probably gonna be one of the hardest rescues of getting a vehicle out of the woods we've ever done on the channel. Uh, now we had the old sob that had the tree growing into the bumper that put up a pretty good fight. But we were looking for a challenge and we thought we'd try to go ahead and see if we could dig into this thing out in the woods and see if we could get it up and running first. So we're gonna dig into this rat's nest of a motor, see if it's locked up, see if we can get it turning over. The game plan here is to get this truck up and running and to actually let it try to drive out of its grave. And give me the rougher side, huh? <laughs> more sticks, but I think I got more poo. And the good thing about cleaning it up out here, you just rake it down onto the ground. Right. Till we need to be laying up underneath it, huh? Yeah. This is a right-handed rat, I guess. <laughs> God, I think that's a lot of poop. We'll definitely have to pull that carburetor off if we get that far into the job. Right. It does have the distributor still in it, though. That's good. I got a, uh, I got that leaf blower, but I think we're gonna have to get this kind of broke. Yeah. Most of it broke free first. Some of it kind of petrified. Yeah. And the way it's stuck in there, I don't think a leaf blower will even get it out of some of the wires. Yeah, it looks like all the, believe it or not, all the spark plug wires on this side. Looks like it's been recently decorated. Yeah, all the spark plug wires on this side ain't even ate on. But the thing is, 110% of the vehicles we bought from this property have been locked up. Yeah. So, the odds of this one not being extremely against itself. I'm thinking our odds are getting better though. Sooner or later, we've got to come across one that's not. It is. <laughs> So guys, real quick, if you're enjoying this video, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Uh, according to our analytics, only 6% of our watchers are actually subscribed to the channel. So that leaves 94% of you guys that just haven't clicked that button. So be sure that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ring that bell. It'll help push us to a broader audience on YouTube and help us hit a huge goal of 500,000 subscribers. Now let's get back to the show. Looks like these spark plugs won't be too bad to get at over here. Maybe the back one might be a little tricky. Oh, I wish that thing would turn oh, over. I think I seen it move. Did you? Yeah. Well, I bent the fan blade. Yeah, it's moving. It's turning, ain't it? Praise God, I'd have yep. never thought it. Well, let's wait though. Let's go ahead and get the plugs pulled out. I'd love to get some kind of lubricant down in there. Right, yeah. Cause you know those things, those old cylinders are gonna be dry. Yeah. Man, this thing's kinda hard to work on. It's way on down in there. Well your side is up, my side's down, so it kinda yeah. kinda works for me. What it looks like. I'm 
that come out real easy. Actually, it looks pretty good. Oh, yeah? I'll try to keep my wires somewhat in order here. You're going to laugh, but I think I need to get up inside there <laughs> to get that back wire off. was back when they definitely gave you plenty of room to work on stuff. Right, yeah. Also gave plenty of room for rats to build and homes load on it. Yeah, but I think if they've got more room, they don't have the structure to, to right. help support it, so. You got all yours? Or? Yeah, I got mine. I think I'm gonna grab that little camera, push it down in those cylinders and just see what they look like first. Right. That. They, they ain't extremely rusty, are they? Uh-uh. They look really good. Uh-huh. Maybe a little bit of... Yeah, one little... little up on that side there, but... May smoke a little bit, I think that's a, that piston's all the way up at the top. Yeah, it's I'm running of... across the top of it right there. Got some trash in it, don't it? Yep. Huh. Yeah, we definitely want to get it oiled up real good. I think we're fine. I think so. And at least for what we're trying to do, get some Marvel Mystery oil put down in there, let it set for just a little bit, and then start working it back and forth. Now that we've got the spark plugs pulled out of this engine, we ram the little camera scope down into the cylinder. Uh, the cylinder walls don't look too bad uh, for a truck that's this old for sure. And definitely what we're used to working with, they look excellent. So we're gonna go ahead and just pump a little bit of Marvel Mystery Oil in there. It has made just a little bit of a turn on the crank down there. So hopefully once we get some kind of lubricant up in those cylinders, we'll just work it back and forth. Hopefully it'll get easier and easier. Then we'll move on to the starter to see if we can turn it over with that. Pumping it in there pretty heavy, but it'll always just blow it back out. Right. Yeah, hopefully the starter will work on this thing. Yeah. Hopefully it has a starter on it. That's one thing I haven't seen. Now it'll be on your side, because I got an oil filter on my side over here. Got it. Battery cables and everything. Just having all kinds of favor today, huh? Mm hmm This is one of those days where everything goes your way and you got to try to figure out what's important yeah. that needs to be done. Do you think we should probably pull that carburetor off before we try to start turning this over too much, huh? As packed in as that is. <laughs> yeah. If it gets where it's turning headed. over with the starter, it's gonna suck. Try to suck that stuff down in there. It's the biggest carburetor bolt I've ever seen used in my life. It's broke off. Is it? Yep. But it's underneath the, whatever that vacuum or deal is there. See, I can't. Oh, maybe. There we go. Go. Okay. That ain't bad on the bottom side. 
I just have to clean all this mess out. You know, hold your hand over it and may blow it again, or think we're good? Uh, no, I'd like to be able to I mean, stuff my glove in there, maybe. Gonna see how it turns by hand again first. Well, we know we're out of gear. Yeah. Ooh, crunchy. Ah, man. Yeah, put it That thing should definitely turn over with the starter. And try to help. I don't see why not. I mean, I'm trying to make sure though on our wiring. I don't want to feed power to you know something that a rat. Cause look right there. Yeah, yeah. There's some wires that are. So we want to be sure. Up here. We maybe disconnect stuff that's. All right the battery put it on it and we'll just try to jump it with the, the starter switch first okay. see how that works for once there's a battery tray that's actually <laughs> gonna hold something maybe Ugh. bet you gotta flip it around look at that little big ground cable they had yeah you have to flip it around because that ground's on the other side no grounds down here oh okay i thought that's so i'm saying that's a little video ground cable they got ran just <laughs> to the body So I think what I'm gonna do is I've got, see how this is spliced in there? Yeah. That's gonna run off the hot side, so I'm gonna eliminate that for right now. This one runs off the hot side too, so both of those are always hot. We can figure that out later. And then this one, where's it going? So that runs into ignition. Honestly, if you just wanna cut it anywhere, we'll splice in the switch to that. How about I give us enough room to, right there? Sure, should do it. Splice it back together later. Oh. That should allow us to send juice down to the solenoid on the starter. So which end do you need to hook to? This one over here okay. that runs to the starter. We may have to figure out some new cables though. Couldn't get these terminals to clean up too good. Honestly, I can just fish that wire back around here and just do it without the switch. As much slack as we got. Ready? Uh. Sure everything's out of the way. Yeah, watch for that belt. <laughs> yeah. That thing may want to sling. Ready? Yep. It's turning over. Not as fast as I was hoping for. It might build up some. Just getting that oil everywhere. Picking up, ain't yep. What do you think about us just uh, cutting that belt off to keep? It's well, I mean, not it is running the water pump, but we're gonna have to replace it anyways. I just don't want to get into a point where it slings off and hurts one of us. So just cut it. Yeah, let's just cut it for now. Uh. Once that thing gets us spinning a lot faster.
and then we'll hang on to it for length just in case. Right. That way if there is anything on this that's somewhat hanging, but it's not because I turned it over by hand too easy. It's got some numbers on it, so that may help us out. Feel any compression? That's what I was fixing to check here. Ready? Yep. Nothing on that one. I, can I, feel bet it, I bet it has a stuck valve. Could be, yeah. Let me see if I can feel on this side of here. Ouch. You want to come over here and do this yep. wire over my. Right. So is that the third one from the front? Third from, uh, from the front, from going the front backwards. There, So Sound this like side's pretty good. I want to spill this one. All right. Just very little. I mean, it's. It's got. I bet it's got a valve that's I bet you're right. stuck. I mean, it's Which, not like it's a bad piston or anything like that. It, I mean, it could be, but I mean, it just. Right. It just feels like it's releasing it somewhere else. Yeah. Which you know, running it a lot of the times will loosen it. Yep. Loosen those valves up. Well. When you've got an engine that turns over. I guess we need to move on then to the firing issue of it, huh? Yeah. Pull the distributor cap off and see if the internals are inside it, I guess. So I think this I think this is a 265 because it has that little inspection yeah. spot for the points there. I believe that's what I read. Which it was missing it, so they are in terrible shape. Now let me pull this button off. Pretty, pretty corroded, ain't they? Yeah, but I bet that fire, just because of the way things are going. Well, the thing is, though, I didn't bring uh, that file or any sandpaper. Right. Honestly, I did not think we'd, <laughs> we'd get this far. I don't know if I can kind of, I wonder if they're even opening, if they're stuck. Yeah, no, those ain't gonna, looks like it's missing the head on the, Oh, well, maybe not. Get that blower and kind of blow it out a little bit. Just want to see if they're actually opening and closing. Yep. Well, I mean, I can try to clean it up with this screwdriver, scratch around on it best we can. Then the next step would just be to run a wire to our our cool there yeah. to give it juice. Try that, you think? Um, like I said, that's... <laughs> going too, too yeah. good so far. And I think, like I said, the way it's going, we could probably get a cannonball to crank up. Give that a shot and then try to flick them, you know? That normally works pretty good. Right, yeah. Well, 
Um, just give us enough to run to. So we're just going to run this wire straight to our cool here on the positive side uh, and just go to the positive of our battery. So we're basically bypassing the ignition switch, which we're bypassing all the wiring on here other than the wire that runs down to the starter solenoid. So once we send some juice to that cool, we'll turn the engine over and see if them points are, are sparking inside there. And if they're sparking, we'll move on to cleaning up the cap and cleaning up the spark plugs. and dumping some fuel down it and see what it does. But if not, uh, we may have to run, try to find some points for this thing, points and condenser, replace that, and just move forward from there. I'll just stick it down in there. No sparks. So. Ready? See nothing. I don't see nothing either. I'll try to flick them here. Yep, nope. nope. I see the sparks in. Yeah. Yep. Oh yeah. They're sporadic, but they're sporadic, but yeah. There for a little bit, I thought, boy, that thing's sparking good. I think that's going to be enough to give a spark at the plugs. Right. And that's pretty clean inside there, other than just the old cobwebs. I don't think there's really much use in the mess with it. Just clean that stuff out. Put that button back on it, huh? Yep. Which I don't know. Yeah, it needs to be cleaned up. Yeah, it's a little rusty. Mm -hmm. This razor blade be any better? Mm, I think this is working. It's definitely not as good as sandpaper would do it, but I think it'll. I think it'll work. No. What are we going to do on them plugs? I think they're... Just put them in it? Put them in it. Because <laughs> huh? I don't think we brought a wire brush, did we? No. Nope. I mean, it sounds like we come completely unprepared, but in all honesty, I figured we were going to walk away yeah. <laughs> pulling the plugs out and letting it soak for months. do everything today because this is before I put that cat back on I want to check which I accidentally left the wire connected yep. all right throw it back on there and <laughs> put the plugs back in I guess I'm afraid I got my wires all kinds of out of order over here though but might be able to figure them out Let's throw them back in it, see what it does, I guess. Did your, uh, when you pulled your wires off, did they come off okay? One of them kind of tore the little side, but it- Yeah, that's kind of how mine did when they were coming off, so. I think, you know, we could come back with new plugs and plug wires 
if we decide to. Right. Try to figure them out. Yep. I'll grab something we can spray down in that intake. Okay. Hook my cool wire back up here. Is that it? Yeah. Cause it's just yeah and i don't know how hot that battery is to be honest with you we spray the rag or yeah i think so it sounds kind of weak ready Very little, very little suction on it. It ain't turning over fast enough. And we need some gas other yeah. than that. We're trying to... Um, we may just have to go get some gas. That, that thing's just not turning over very fast. This battery should be charged, but that don't mean it is. Let's try it without. I'm just trying to get it to turn over a little better. A little faster. Which we don't know if the plugs are sparking or not. Right. We definitely need some fuel. And we may end up just having to clean that carburetor up. And I mean, this was worth a shot. I've right. Seen, I've seen it work before. Get it just a little bit. Let's uh let's go ahead and clean that carburetor up just to bypass the that part trying to it. get it to run on something that it's never made to run right. without. <laughs> That's bad shape. Come on, girl. Well, we got smoke coming out of something down there. You see it? Yeah. Oh, it's got an exhaust that comes across the front. It's coming out the exhaust. Oh, it drops down low. Okay. Yeah, it comes, the exhaust comes off this manifold. So that means we're getting a little sparking down there. Hey, maybe. Getting close. Come on, girl. There's no telling how much of that marble mystery oil is still up in there. For right. Mm -hmm. yeah, like I say, that exhaust is blown out there. It just still don't sound like it's turning over. I know it sounds like it's. Sound like it just sounds battery. like our battery's yeah. dead, don't it? Mm -hmm. Yep, it does.
as they look. Looks fine. Let's run up to the parts store and try to get a different battery. It ain't gonna hurt for us to have more than one spare right. oh, battery yeah. around anyways. If it's not the battery, we'll at least know. Yeah. Because like I said, that thing, I don't know for sure how charged it was. And I hate to be right here at it, and that's right. all it is. Yep. Whoa. Here you go, I'll take that. Give me that. I hope this battery tray holds up. <laughs> it could be the, uh, you know, it could be that starter or it could be these old battery cables too. Yeah. Hey, there's so many things it could be. It could just be the valve train still stiff in it. All right. But it turned over so easy by hand. I know it, yeah, that's. Just about out of time, so if this don't, change anything we're gonna have to call it quits and make a game plan for another day i'm just going to turn it over first see if it seems any different nope no nope. definitely wasn't the battery it's about doing the same thing i say the exhaust could be, but you said it's got a hole up in the front, but. Talking know. about the exhaust being clogged up? Yeah. Yeah. It's laying on the ground back here, so. I know this side's gonna be breathing out of that hole in the front. Doesn't look like it's clogged up. I'd be willing to bet it's that starter. I bet it is too. As easy as it is to turn over by hand, I mean. I don't think the exhaust is stopped up. <laughs> well, you can't even turn it over by hand now with the belt off, but. Right, but yeah, I mean, earlier it was. Turning easy. I mean, I can semi move it just. Right. Wish I had some. Uh some jumper cables just to bypass, you know what I mean? To kind yeah. of help to see if it is the cables. Uh -uh. It's gonna have to be turning over faster. Uh -huh. I think our next step would be to pull that starter off and where we can check it out here in the open to see how it's working. And then just go ahead and replace the cables to rule that out too, huh? Yep. But I think we made it about as far as we can today. A whole lot further than I thought we were going to make it. Right, yeah, so we're, we're ahead of the game at least. Yeah. I think maybe if we can pull that starter off so we know what it looks like, maybe get a new one or clean it up for the next time, come back out here. I'm pretty happy with the progress so far. I definitely think she'll run. <laughs> So we decided to go ahead and just call it a day, uh, but we did go ahead and get up underneath the truck and pull off the old starter. That way we could compare it to a new one, be sure we got the right one when we come back out here. Uh, so now we got a new starter, just gonna bolt that in place, gonna go ahead and replace these uh, battery cables while we're at it as well, and then hopefully she'll turn over a whole lot faster for us. Still not as fast as I hoped it'd be, but I think it'll definitely try to start on right. that. At least better. Wow, look, that's fresh. Oh yeah. There's fresh turds there. <laughs> that's, uh, he's been chewing on that too. Wow. That can't be healthy. <laughs> Either that or that gas ain't very strong. Yeah. I guess I'll hook this up. You wanna give it a little drink? Yep. There she goes. Try 
for just a second, didn't yeah. it? I don't know. Knowing that we have so much blow by though, you know, this thing may not have any compression, which you'd think it'd be spinning over super fast. But I don't know if we pull them plugs out and squirt some oil down in there and, and try to turn it over to see if it'll help build up a little compression. Worth a try, it. yeah. Let that starter cool off a little bit. About 70. Not great, is it? Uh -uh. Yeah, let's just try to put a little, oil, a couple of squirts of oil down in there and see, okay. see if that helps it any. So we know we're fighting an engine that has really low compression. Uh, that could be due to it just setting up and it having some stuck rings, or this thing could have just been plumb wore out when they parked it out here. So we're gonna try a little trick of just taking some really thick gear oil here, some ADW90. We're gonna put it in this little pump, just squirt a little bit down in each cylinder, put the plugs back in it, which we're cleaning up with a wire brush now, and then try to turn it over. Hopefully that oil will get in there, allow it to have a little bit more compression, and hopefully allow this thing to crank up for the first time. Come on. Come on, boy. Whatever. Smells like a barbecue sandwich. <laughs> yeah. Maybe if you're eating possum barbecue or something. <laughs> oh, man. It's close, but yet it's not nowhere close. Yeah, it's... What, do we want to take the valve covers off and... I think that's our next move is... Take them off and see if there's any valves that ain't closing back all the way, I guess. Anything bent, broke, or disassembled. Something, huh? Yep. bad up in right there, does it? Not really. Let me hit it and see what they look like they're doing. Uh, yeah. Working, huh? Yep. I don't know. I don't think we've got any stuck valves. I mean, this side might, but what was it? This cylinder here? Yeah. It was questionable. Gas gets hung right there with your finger, at least. This side ain't that bad either. Ain't really pumping much oil up there though, is it? We got one of them over here that maybe two that might have, but Man, this side over here is kind of And it's dry. on that it's on the one that had no compression. Look like you're uh, next to the last back there is about there is getting some little oil popped up to it. Spray them down just for the fun of it. And is that puny blaster around here? Yeah, there's there. Uh, I don't think there's much in here. I 
It's a lot cleaner up in here than I thought it'd be. Yeah, me too. I figured it'd have a lot of caked up oil. It's not that bad. Let's just try to hook this wire up and see. Try to crank it again, see what it does. I hope this hole start pumping up here. Ready? Yep. There she is, huh? <laughs> I don't know if there was a couple valves that were just kind of partially I almost stuck had to be. I mean, smacking that... on them kind of. They were wow. working, but they weren't just completely sealing off. Yeah. Let's see how it does again. Uh, let's see if it'll crank right back up. Mm. Still not much oil though, huh? Um, no, not really. Well, it's hard to say really. The exhaust is just laying right on the ground back there. <laughs> Did you just kill it or is it, it just happened just, to die? It just happened to die. It was, I think my, my bottle was oh, not yeah. putting out enough. Yeah. I was gonna see if I could just keep it kind of right. a baby idol with that, but I don't know, like like it kind of like something stopped up or something. Oh yeah. What do you mean? I don't know. It's just like it's like it's like ugh, like it was <laughs> trying to poop. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Should we Google that and see what the what the problem might be? I don't know any other way of putting it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to do it. It gets flooded or but I mean it was just like it was it was like gasping for something it's like I need something and and I give it more gas are you lying <laughs> <laughs> I'd give it more gas and it would kind of like take off but then it would act like it was just kind of choking down again you want to try it over there yeah. so if it blows a rat out we'll know it's constipated yeah, great. Now I know if you just touch it and it just you ready? No. All right. Uh-uh. I think it needs a break. <laughs> it probably is flooded then. Yeah. So at this point, we definitely know we have an engine that's going to run. Uh, we'll come back now and go ahead and replace the spark plugs, the plug wires, uh, pretty much a lot of stuff on the ignition side of the truck that's only going to allow this thing to run better. Now there are several trees we're going to have to address before we can do that. So get this thing running, 
get those trees out of the way and just see what she does. I'm Cody Estrada with Roselle Tree Service. Lance called me out here because he was having an issue with a tree that might be in the way of a truck that they found out here. So we're gonna to try to help him alleviate that and uh, get the truck out and get it going. So this is not our first encounter with trying to help Lance get a car out or a truck out. So we kind of have a little experience in this realm, but nonetheless, you never know what quite is gonna happen. So we'll do our best to make everything safe and get it out of the way so they can work on this truck. What's up, man? Hey, Lance. How's up, it going? Man? Good, how are y'all? Pretty good. How's it going, man? You remember Jeremy and Zach? Yes, sir. All How's right. it going, man? Well, well what, what have y'all got yourselves into now? <laughs> I think we could possibly get away with maybe just this one going down, but check this out over here. So this thing's been out here so long. Oh, wow. It's completely caved in the passenger side of this truck. It's just superficial. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so I know this is way out of our means of being able to do stuff, but I'm hoping this one won't have to cut, you know, come down. Uh, as far as I can tell, it doesn't look like it's attached to anything like that sob was, you know. It's just pushed into it as yeah. all grew in. And I assume you're trying to get it out straight, obviously. Right, straight yeah, forward. we're hoping we can drive it straight and it is just not gonna happen with yeah. this one being here. Uh, it's kind of already got a pretty good lean to it. But it may, trail. trailer may be a good catcher for it. I bet so. The trailer is going to catch most of it. I think we can definitely get it out of your way, though. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll go from there. So, and, uh, back over in here, there's actually another little tree. The game plan is to, if we can get this down, hopefully hook to some other trees and maybe, you know, jack it up, pull it this way. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if this one would have to come down. And that one back there is not really attached to anything. No. The, the only concern I have with this little one, if we can avoid cutting it down, we're probably going to try because it's not going to really fall. It's so, the canopies of these trees are so thick that it's just going to kind of stop. Right. And I think it'd be more of a hazard for us to be just have this random right. tree just leaned up. <laughs> yeah. So we may leave that unless we absolutely have to, uh -huh. but we'll definitely get that one out of your way. And I think if we can cut that one, we can pull it over and there should be enough room there. Yeah, I think so Just too. getting these tires past this tree, you know, is yeah. a thing. I think that's a good plan. Cool, man. Yeah, I think we can make it work. <laughs> that easy sometimes yeah i know that's a that's a, was a scary thing to us is you never quite know right 
it fell further that way than I was thinking it would, honestly. But yeah. no, that's had a good work. slow fall to it. I too. know. I, I did that on purpose. I was trying to get the right. <laughs> I think that should do it other than, I mean, there's a few little smaller things here, but. Yeah, we can get those, help you clean up a little bit this path. Yeah, if you don't mind while you got it. Yeah. Chainsaw warmed up. See a camera. I'll land that way. That should do it, huh? You got a path now. Yeah. I don't know what this is. What is this? This is an airplane wheel. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Jerry, would you put your little? Oh, there it is. I'm gonna cut this one off a little bit lower. Yeah, there's a little a couple, maybe small ones over here too, but. Oh. This one's not going to be in the way if we have to pull the, the back over. I can cut it. Yeah, It'll let's fall. go ahead just in case. Okay. She's slowly exposing herself. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> so now that they've got these trees cut out of the way, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and try to jack up this front axle, put some boards up underneath the tires, and hopefully find a spot on here we can hook some come-alongs to, and just pick a tree out here. Just try to winch this thing away from that tree on the passenger side, uh, and just see how it goes from there. It's moving. Right? Yeah, I'm gonna go around on the other side and look. Yeah. Yeah, we're at least six inches away from it now. Oh yeah? This side over here is actually sliding the board and all, which is good. Yeah. I'm afraid we might have to come up with a different set of wheels and tires though to, if this thing's ever gonna roll, you know? Right. If the brakes ain't locked up on it. I can still come another four foot, so okay. let me know when you think.
Lance, I think that's good. Yeah? Yeah. What does it look like? Yeah, it looks like it looks like it'll make it here. It's, it's pulled it into that tree at the back just a hair, but it's just a matter of oh, yeah. scooting it over. But I think well, we can. It's got the red paint on the. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It really ain't as bad dented in as what I thought it was going to be, though. I mean, that's still terrible. I know there ain't no reason why it should open, but. Well, I think it actually would. Yeah. May not have to, most of it's falling out the bottom of it. <laughs> yeah. That latch is on there. Oh well. Yeah, it's that tree. It actually did grow into it just a just a hair. Oh well. Sure enough. Huh. So pull it away from that tree right there? Yeah, I think we can and that way it'll get that uh that dually rear end just past this little bit yeah. too. Because if we try to come forward now, it's so far up against that tree from us pulling this over. I don't think we're going to have to jack it, though. Just hook the chains to right. it and move it. Yeah, it's moved without it being jacked already. I think all every tire that we thought was aired up, they're all flat. <laughs> all flat, just stiff. Yeah, they were so stiff. Ooh, I don't know. It's moving. Is it? Yeah. Them over there. Keep going? Yeah. Everything's still looking okay? Yeah, everything's fine over here. I think that's good right there. You think so? Yeah. For sure? Yeah. All right. That's what we'll call that good then. With the tree situation now being out of the way, uh, as long as we can get this old girl up and running well enough, she should drive out of here. Uh, we want to go back on the engine and go ahead and just button it up a little bit better with new spark plugs, plug wires. Now we're hoping that she'll crank up, she'll idle on her own, throw it in gear, and hopefully see this thing move on its own in after 50 years. <laughs> That's what we wanted. I think we just ran out of gas in the car. Yeah, probably so. We're gonna try to fill it back up and we'll try it again. Praise God. Sounds a lot better than the last time we were out here. Yeah. Try it again. Yep. Yeah, it's just running. Yep. What's well, a, a gas drinker? Ain't it? <laughs> it is. Gotta expect it, kinda though. It's Hadn't good. had a drink in a while. Yeah. Let's try to see if we can rig a radiator up on it. Then we gotta try to see if we can even get in the truck. Right. <laughs> So we were able to find an old radiator that we could just rig up on this truck for the time being. Uh, went around on the brakes and got those unstuck from where they had froze up from just sitting here. Uh, even most of the tires ended up taking air, except one on the front where we were able to go ahead and take it off and just replace it. But what we're going to go ahead and do now is just kind of give you a walk around up close here of what we got going on. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see here. But our rat is super busy and does not want to leave this truck alone. So every time we come back, he's done brought in some more stuff up in here. Uh, we do have the radiator we got rigged up on there. We got a belt on this water pump, hoping that all that's going to work for us. 
uh, inside the truck, got the door open, and man, it is just extremely nasty in here. Uh, I've got this little starter box that a fan had actually sent us. So I've got it wired in where hopefully I'll be able to hit this switch here, which will uh, give power to the cool. And then that's just a starter button that's gonna run the, turn the starter over to crank it. Uh, hopefully our clutch works, the clutch pedal is up. Got a fuel tank over here that's just gravity feeding to the carburetor. So hopefully that's all we're gonna need on that uh, to run this thing. Now back here, I'm pretty concerned we noticed when we were messing with the brakes uh, that our carrier bearing here on this drive shaft is just gone. And there's actually a piece of wood <laughs> right down there on the ground. They had made them a wooden carrier bearing at some point, which I'm guessing has worked better than no carrier bearing. So hopefully that doesn't give us any kind of problems on that. Um, brakes are unfree, at least at this point. We've got a set of aired up tires around the truck at this point we're just going to hop in and hopefully see this thing pull out of its grave of over 50 years oh man this is nasty please do not let a rat come out while i'm in here ready ready the door wouldn't open now, it won't shut. I think it's too many rat turds. Wow. Actually, it doesn't run too bad. Going in gear. Here we go. Watch me on that tree. Right up close to the tree, so about another four foot and you start turning. All right. It's close. Start turning. You're free. You're good. Good thing this thing's low geared. Oh, there goes my gas tank. Oh, come on. Stay up there, girl. <laughs> what a clown show. This clutch is actually way better than I thought it was going to feel. It's all right open road from here. Ooh, that drive shaft sounds terrible. <laughs> sounds like a choo-choo train coming down through here. getting out of here. I don't know, just ready to go straight or something. I think I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to plow these over. If you say something, <laughs> tell me to stop. Okay. Sticks to the back. 
back ain't too comfortable. Kinda hug that tree. You're good. Keep come straight now. Ooh, that sounds bad. Just gonna drive this thing right on up to the trailer. No way we could have tried to drive this home with that carrier bearing being gone. Look all right. Is it gonna fit between the fenders, the front end? Yeah, yeah. Front, front end's got it made easy. We'll just try to get those back wheels up to the fender, I guess. Okay. I don't know. Everything looks good right now. Keep coming. this way just a little bit if you want to. About another foot. That's good there. Good. <laughs> we made it. Yeah. If we didn't scare that rat out, we smoked him out. <laughs> Man. What a chore. Yeah. Cool seeing it just coming through there though. Yeah. Guess we'll get it strapped down and head back. We're still smoking. Yeah, I may need to check up underneath there, make sure it's just exhaust. It's the oil on the oil. manifolds okay. and stuff. And grass and <laughs> everything else that was packed and poured over it. Crazy. Yeah. Still got some life left in it. Well guys, we actually were able to pull this one off. But when we come out here, we decided to challenge ourselves a little bit more than just having to cut a vehicle out of the woods. On this one, we wanted to see if we could get it up and running and actually drive itself out of the woods. I have to say it was quite the chore at the time, but seeing it actually moving under its own power, well, it's quite rewarding. We hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that bell, and we'll see you on the next one.